Hello. I was just thinking uh, about a friend of mine that him is getting married next month. As a gift, I uh, got him and his uh, fiance, almost soon to be wife, a twenty dollar gift card to AutoZone. My friend loves to work on cars, and they're both well. They're both well to do. What do you get them? A well to do person. And his fiance, she ended up getting twenty dollars worth of air fresheners because of him. They like to do a bunch of road trips. Uh, but that's, I started thinking, what do guys really want at a wedding? Most of the time, guys are just the silent partner in the wedding. We just go along with it. Whatever makes her happy, we'll go along with it just because we want to get it over with. Yeah, we, you know, a guy decides to participate in a wedding, he really loves her. But he has no idea what all this stuff means. He doesn't get it. But he just says yes, 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 just to keep her happy. But what would a guy really want? Well, first of all, there, there has to be something about the cost. The way the money is spent. Now, everybody's different. Everybody has different budgets. And so some people, they, they can just spend a few thousand. Some may spend up to a million dollars. It just depends on the family and what. But the percentage of the budget. Why does, and, and a guy's point of view is thinking, why in the world am, are we spending all this money on flowers and candles and all these decorations? What does it have to do? What are you going to do with it afterwards? And... Then um, the dress, it's like, it, we don't get dramatic about it. It's like, hey, you ha you like that dress. Hey, I like it too. But then we're thinking, oh my goodness, uh, how, how, who's, how, how is this going to be paid for? Now, here's what a guy would think. Let's say, for example, let's say like if there was a $30,000 budget for a wedding... Now, I think that can easily be done. And Matt, that might be a little cheap these days, too. Now, a guy would think, let's not spend any more than a thousand, maybe two thousand dollars on the actual wedding itself. No decorations. You know, you get the ring, you get the dress, you hire the preacher. You know, you make sure all that's nice. No flowers, no Candles, whatever, just just a simple ceremony, and then spend twenty eight to twenty nine thousand dollars of that on a barbecue. Could you imagine the barbecue that you could have for that amount of money? You got you could get all sorts of steaks, ribs, chicken. You could even get um, uh, themes. Such as tailgating. For if you're an NFL fan, you could have all 32 teams of the of the the league represented. You know, people go from station to station and try different kinds of tailgating food from each region. I mean, you could get really specific, and a bunch of people would show up because it's a barbecue and it has meat. And then they would show up with gifts, and they would show up with money, and then they would talk about you for years. That's a guy's point of view. That's what we want in a wedding. But we would be afraid to say that because we would get killed. We would hear, you want that in a wedding? How dare you? A barbecue in a wedding. So just to avoid the drama, we don't say a word and just wish. And just go along with it. And uh, just to... And deal with it, and then um, and then hope that we do not get stuck with pastel colors on our tuxedos.